Hello classmates, families, and supporters of the class of 2020. My name is Kaylin Gray and I'm your senior class president. Welcome to the first ever Titan virtual graduation ceremony. Now let's kick it off by welcoming Rebecca Strohmeyer who will be singing the national anthem. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave, or the Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. My name is Riley Perrick, and I'm a member of the class of 2020 that is graduating today. It is an honor to speak to you all. Although this isn't what most of us picture graduating from high school would look like, it is still time to congratulate all of us on the tests we took, all-nighters we pulled, classes we passed, and homework completed. I won't claim to know each and every one of you personally because I don't, but that doesn't make us complete strangers. Maybe we only sat next to each other for three weeks in our freshman math class. Maybe your best friend is the cousin of my best friend's ex-boyfriend. Maybe we only walked past each other once in a while in the hallway but never actually spoke. But one way or another, our paths have crossed and we all have something in common. We did it. Many people say that today is the day our journey begins, but I believe our journeys began a long time ago. Today just happens to be the day that the path we have been traveling through our high school career splits into 468 different directions. Michael Josephson once said, take pride in how far you have come, have faith in how far you go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Every single one of us have faced adversities through our short 17, 18, 19 years of life. I believe it is important to recognize that. We all should take pride in how far we have come. High school wasn't always what High School Musical made it seem, but each and every one of us pushed through adversities and made it through. I know this because of the diploma each of us have received. This diploma represents the journey we have gone through to get where we are right now. Now I'm not trying to say high school was terrible because it wasn't. For some of us it was the best four years of our lives thus far and for others we made fantastic memories through the journey as well. The first day of school anxiousness to see who's in each class, homecoming weekend, Friday night lights, storming the field after beating the monarchs, yelling cheers at pep rallies, breaks spent with friends, dances, packing the gym and stadium for unified sports, making connections with our favorite teachers, and many more. There are countless memories made by each one of us during the last four years, and there are that many more that lie ahead. The second part of the quote, have faith in how far you go. This graduation already proves how capable we are of accomplishing our goals when we are committed to them. We all had to work hard at one point or another to get here today. Some of us today are wondering how our lives are going to turn out. It is okay to wonder. I also think it's important for us to realize that our future is not something that just happens to us. It is up to us to create it. As we all create our journey on different paths, let us take each problem we face with confidence, knowing that we have achieved great heights and are supplied with tools to tackle our futures. Each of us have the potential to do anything we wish to in life. You must have the faith in yourself to push how far you end up going. The last point of Josephson's quote don't forget to enjoy the journey, is the one we all need to remember. It's important to stop and enjoy what you are doing. Life can be crazy with so many twists and turns. For example, I'm sure none of us thought our senior year would come crashing down because of a pandemic. But we all need to take time and enjoy the little things and never take things for granted. Doing this makes hard times that much easier because you have seen how much good there is in your life. Today marks the completion of the first part of our journey. We have all made our mark on Papio South in all its glory, yet we have to continue along our path of life. Take all your experiences with you. Keep close to the student and teacher friends you've made here. And do well in whatever you do and wherever you go. Congratulations, Class of 2020. 
As Dr. Seuss wisely wrote, Kid, you'll move mountains. My name is Parker Curtis, I'm a Titan senior, and I'm graduating with the class of 2020. Ralph Waldo Emerson once wrote, All our youth is a recruiting of the holy fraternity. They shall combine for the salvation of men. Yet there is no group which a telescope will not resolve, and the dearest of friends are separated by impassable gulfs. The psych cert seems especially relevant on this day. We're all moving to take part in our futures, and we may lose track of those we once held in the highest esteem. Even the most sacred of friendships may, after today, begin to dissolve. But we've been given the opportunity to attend a ceremony that separates the phases of adulthood and childhood. We're in a middle ground where we're crossing the divide, but at the same time reminiscing and paying reverence to our childhoods. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do today. I joined PLCS my freshman year. And while I've only spent four years with all of you, I can safely say most of this class has had an impact on my life. When I say that, I don't just mean the certain individuals I've become close to. I'm also referring to the people with whom I've had limited conversations. The people I was instructed to sit by in math or science classes. Most of my mannerisms are not natural to me. They come from you. The way I walk, laugh, talk, these traits are not original to myself. I got them from spending four crucial years of my life with all of you. I'm stepping into an entirely new world with pieces of people who have simultaneously had the smallest and largest impact on my life. But that's only four years. Most of you have known each other since elementary or middle school. You spent half of your lives with the people in this class. In elementary school, they knew who your first crush was. In middle school, they went through and saw the awkward phases you experienced. And in high school, they sat with you in your first car late at night while you shared deep and meaningful conversations. That has to mean something, even if we know these friendships may not last. Everything we're delighted in and everything we fear, we have had the rare opportunity to share with hundreds of individuals our same age. If we were in one class above or one class below, how different would our personalities be? How different would my personality be? For those of you who know me, I am exceedingly extroverted. But that wasn't always the case. In middle school, I could argue I was the most introverted person in that class. When I moved here and met all of you, something just clicked into place. I don't know if it was the environment or the people, but it worked for me. How many of you can say the same? There are some amazing individuals I've had the pleasure to learn with and from but I don't need to tell you that. All of you know, your first boyfriend or girlfriend's in this class, your first friend, your first love. This could also be the class that comes with your first bully or first heartbreak. And I'm not gonna pretend like everything was perfect about our experience. But if we only had the good, how could we ever grow into the people we are today? And all of you should be very proud of that person. We've been given the ability to grow in an environment that's socially preparing us for the outside world. That includes the good and the bad. Now I know this graduation isn't what we expected at the end of our senior year, but I'm 100% confident that we can make it through. Our births were overshadowed by the tragedy of 9-11, and now our graduation is placed in the midst of a pandemic. It's almost as if we were made for this. We can improvise and thrive through anything thrown in our paths. It's just who we are. And we've accomplished some pretty amazing things this year. <laughs> All of us are defined by each other in the holy fraternity of men. I believe in us because I'm defined by us. Together, we can continue to do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. I've learned to slam the brake Before I even turn the key Before I make a mistake before I leave with the worst of me Give them no reason to stare No slipping up if you slip away So I got nothing to share No, I got nothing to say Step out, step out of the sun if you keep getting burned Step out, step out of the sun because you've learned Because you've Ta-da!
Happy Sunday, everyone. It's a great day to be a Titan. Linus sends his regards. <coughs> Graduates, parents, family, and friends, as the superintendent of the Papillion La Vista Community Schools, graduation is truly one of the highlights of the year. Commencement serves as the capstone of 13 years of hard work, commitment, and dedication by each of our 478 grads. Today has added significance since we are not only celebrating the achievements of our seniors, but we get to do so on a day that honors our mothers and grandmothers. Wherever you are, please join me in thanking your mothers and grandmothers who are with us today. For the class of 2020, your hard work has translated into success. The list of accomplishments from this class is simply amazing. Allow me to share just a few examples. 149 Titans received 546 scholarships worth over $14.6 million. Among this class, we have one National Merit Finalist, one National Merit Commended, five Buffett Scholarship recipients, 29 Board of Regents Scholarships to UNO, UNL, or UNK, 14 Omaha World Herald Academic Team Honorable Mentions, 24 Athletic Scholarships, two ROTC Scholarships, two Walter Scott Jr. Full Tuition Scholarships, 10 Dean Scholarships, and 11 Chancellor Scholarships to UNK, UNO, or UNL, two Board of Directors Scholarships to Metro Community College, and lastly, the Titans proudly hosted foreign exchange students from Germany, Italy, and Norway. But their accomplishments don't end with academics. Under the leadership of this senior class, your Titan volleyball team brought home yet another state title. Congrats, Coach Wright. The Pro Start Culinary Team was named state champion and qualified for nationals. The cheer team placed fourth at state. The Sapphires were national semifinalists. Numerous teams and individuals qualified for state in football, 
girls and boys cross country, wrestling, boys basketball, boys tennis, girls golf, and both the swim and dive team. The fine arts programs also had an amazing year with several successful productions from our drama department. Journalism received the Cornhusker Award for its work on the yearbook. They also received a seventh place ranking at state with five members of this class receiving individual honors. Band and chorus received numerous top five finishes and superior ratings, including 17 students who were selected All-State Chorus and 10 students who were selected to All-State Band. Titan Color Guard was named best at state, Winter Percussion were champions at all invites and ranked 10th nationally, and Show Choir boasted five individual titles. Our NJROTC unit had another outstanding year, including Luke Sumter being named the 2019 Legion of Valor Bronze Cross Award winner. Well done, Luke. This class was also known for their caring and giving community service. Under the leadership of DECA, they organized several community events, spoke with elementary students, and structured the social media campaign of Titans Helping Titans to keep the hopes of their fellow classmates up and positive during these very challenging times. Thank you, seniors, for being amazing leaders. Finally, let me point out one of the most important accomplishments of this class is today we'll be awarding 478 high school diplomas. No matter your GPA or the activities you were involved in, you are all graduating from one of the finest public school districts in the country. Today's commencement activities have caused me to reflect on the last few months. This is certainly not the senior year you or your families wanted or expected. But despite these difficulties, we have seen countless reasons for optimism. So many leaders have emerged from across our community. Medical professionals, service workers, law enforcement, first responders, truck drivers, teachers, members of our armed forces, and countless others have stepped forward to show us what real heroes look like. A new generation of leaders is graduating here today. This group of seniors is unquestionably talented and resilient. Many of our graduates were born in the difficult months following 9-11 and experienced firsthand the country's pain that followed. Today, that same group of individuals find themselves leaving high school during the worst public health crisis in the last 100 years. These seniors have been tested and responded with positivity and grace. These past two months have been difficult to be sure, but I am convinced these character building experiences will serve you well. As graduates entering the workforce, the military, or higher ed, you will likely find your path in life is often challenging and frequently unfair. But whatever choices you make from this point forward, the choices belong to you and will have a profound impact on the type of life you'll have. We are so fortunate, every one of us, to live in this wonderful community and to live in this truly great nation. To the naysayers and critics who bemoan the future of our country, do not believe them. If this group of graduates is any indicator of the quality of the next generation of Americans, our nation is in very good hands indeed. To our seniors, today you are joining an elite and proud family alumni of the Papillion La Vista Community Schools. We love you and we know you will make us proud. On behalf of the Board of Education and Administration, congratulations, and most important of all, be sure to tell mom you love her. Go Titans. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the Papillion La Vista South 2019-2020 graduation. A special welcome to all of our mothers and a special shout out to my mother, Bonnie Johnson, whose granddaughter and my niece, Elizabeth Lamberty, and Judy Gunther, my mother-in-law, whose granddaughter and my niece, Anna Grover, are both graduating today. We all know we would not be here today without the love and support of our mothers and or significant role models in our lives. Titans, these are certainly unprecedented times for all of us. We have all had to adjust on the run and make the best of an unsettling time. We have pulled together and responded, as we always do, and have made it to the finish line. Titans, this day is for you. It's a privilege and honor to present the class of 2020 and to offer my congratulations to the 17th graduating class of Papillion La Vista South High School. Since the fall of 2016, this class has been together and represented the very best of what it means to be a Titan. I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of the graduates for all of their hard work and efforts, and I also want to thank all the parents and others who have supported our students along the way. We all know they would not be here today without your support. We are all very proud of all your accomplishments, both in the classroom as well as your activities. 
You have represented this school, this community, and your families in a manner that makes us all proud. As we, pre as we have prepared you for this day, I want to leave you with a quote from Malcolm X. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Titans, your tomorrow starts very soon, and rest assured you have been prepared for what lies ahead. I can't wait to see your tomorrows. It has been a pleasure to serve this district and this community for the last 18 years. My thanks goes to everyone who has supported our students, teachers, support staff, and administrators through the years. This is a special school and this is a special community. Thank you all. Class of 2020, we are now once a Titan, always a Titan. Dr. Rickley, members of the Board of Education, it is with great honor and pride that I present the 17th graduating class of Papillion La Vista South High School. This graduating class has met all the requirements set forth by the Papillion La Vista Board of Education and I proudly recommend that each of these students receive a high school diploma for a job well done. Samantha Marie Adamski. Allison A. Eights. Grace Aliyah Alba. Ian James Isley Albrecht. Akur G. Alir. Caleb S. Allen. Carly M. Allen. Angel Marie M. Aline. Dylan Michael Anderson. Faith Christian Marie Anderson. Soraya Lynn Anson. Alexis Christine Apen. Andy Rose Armstrong Michael David Joseph Ashby Elena E. Auk Hannah Hovland Orlean Quentin Deshatorn Bear Michael J. Baker Olivia Jane Baker Emma K. Barnes Josephine Nicole Rose Barrett Jason M. Berrialt Amber Elizabeth Dakota Beasley Michael Robert Beaver Veronica L. Beck Devin M. Becker Patrick Bell Raphael D. Burnth Tristan Xavier Birch Nathaniel Matias Beagle Ian Patrick Bishop Emily R. Bland Brianna Marie Bowman Joseph Santo Bacoman Arrigo Connor Davis Bonacci Jackson Keith Borchers Abby Grace Borer Braylon A. Botts Ryan C. Bob, Ethan David Boucher Zane Patrick Boudreau Zachary Bowen Jessica D. Bowman Kelly Ann Brannigan Emily Brassfield 
Tyler Noah Bratt. Ryan Michael Bressman. Lily Anna Marie Brazina Wilson. Elvis Anthony Bridgeforth. Daniel Thomas Bridges. Alexis Marie Brody. Nathan William Roger Brockman. Max Emerson Brooks. Blake H. Brown. Kelsey F. Bruck. Brooke C. Buck. Karen Juliet Birch. Zachary R. Berger. Isabella Bergen. Colby R. Burns. Hayden David Buxton. Autumn Rose Bythro. Liam J. Bythro. Cade Matthew Cameron. Tristan Lee Cameron. Emma Rose Cannon. Shilpa C. Capacasal. Jose Ivan Cardona. Grace Elizabeth Carey. Brittany Christine Carlson. Jacob Baron Carpenter. Zoe Gray Carrico. Elijah T. Castro Littrell. Tyler Anthony Centimore. Jacqueline Anna Cervantes. Landon O. Chapin. Jade E. Chapman. Aaron Ray Charleston. Joshua J. Chipman. Joseph J. Siriaco. Kelsey Jane Clark. Amanda J. Clark. Avery L. Clayson. Mackenzie Clayson. Chloe Alexis Click. Bradley Cobia. Hannah Christine Cochran. Taylor Lynn Coit. Ashlyn B. Kahn. Aiden Connolly. Caleb Austin Connor. Benjamin Kenneth Cook. Jamin D. Copeland. Leonardo A. Cordova Ceballos. Amy Catherine Virginia Correa. Jada Ray Corey. Connor Jimmy Crandall. Rain Boderick Craver. Brandon K. Kreps. Nina M. Cuevas. Sarah M. Cumston. Parker L. Curtis. Jessica Denault. Eric Davis. Nathaniel Elijah Degerness. Porter 
Bain de Groot. Sophie Jean Denker. Anna Elizabeth Derrick. Peyton Ann de Tavernier. Michaela Lee DeWall. Emily Grace DeZafra. Leslie Dixon. Ashlyn Elizabeth Dirks. Aislinn Danae Dill. Taylor E. Dixon. Robert L. Dodson III. Marley Elizabeth Dodson. Abigail S. Downey. Haley Joe Doyle. Celine Duong. Brendan Tyler Edick. Tenshi Audrey Eduardo. Elizabeth C. Ike. Amanda Elias. Austin Michael Ellard. Aaliyah S. Elwine. John S. Enzolera. Michael S. Enzolera. Travis Joel Erksy. Haley C. Estlin. Dylan Ethington. Catherine Grace Evanoff. Christopher David Ewing. Mackenzie G. Fairchild. Allison M. Falkenberg. Chiara Adele Fazzini. Bailey May Fike. Lauren Elizabeth Feltz. Aiden C. Fisher. Elise Lynn Fitzpatrick. Matthew Lee Fletcher. Elijah G. Forsman. Emma Catherine Franco. Mercedes Elizabeth Fritz. Jeffrey Frost. Madison Mackenzie Fulfs. Alexis Elizabeth Furs. Jack Khan Geich. Aliyah K. Garrido. Monique Marguerite Gaspar. Noah J. Gardiner. Cassandra Marie Gall. Brecken Stephen Giannato. Madison R. Geese. Corey Allen Glazebrook. Tyson Cornelius Glenn. Renee Elizabeth Gold. Logan Shelby Good. Parker Gornink. Cameron M. Graber. Emily E. Graffelman. Kaylin Jean Gray. Anna Christine Grover. Paige N. Guerin. Hunter K. Hackley. James 
Hadley, Jordan E. Hall, Julian Hall, Courtney Michelle Hamilton, Alyssa Marie Hammers, Andrew Hansen, Justin Logan Hansen, David Alexander Hannes, Daniel J. Harlow, Emily Elizabeth Harrelson, Caleb M. Harris, Cole Matthew Harris, Nicholas C. Harris, Nicole Elizabeth Harris, Kaya Drew Harrison, Aiden C. Hatfield, Mary Claire Heaton, McKenna Lee Hendricks, Sophie P. Hendricks, Colin Tavon Herbert, Jose Angel Hernandez, Anthony Christopher Manhattan Hedinger, Caleb Jordan Hedinger, Caleb H. Hill, Jonathan Passeard Hickson, Alexis M. Hoover, Jacob Horacek, Lauren M. Horst, Hannah R. Hubbard, Riley Hunsley, Madison Mary Hurst, Courtney Faith Hutchins, Callie N. Insera, Alex D. Irizari, Ainsley G. Irwin, David P. Jabins, Samantha C. Jackson, Alexander William Jacobs, Sabrina Lorraine Jacobs, Quincy Lamar James, Samantha Elsie Rose James, Abigail R. Janicki, Anna Marie Jennings, Jaden R. Jarrett, Landon Christian Jewell, Dylan D. Johnson, Peyton Michael Johnson, Tyler Malachi Johnson, Emma Olivia Jones, Matthew A. Jones, Matthew J. Jones, Kyle N. Jones Sortino, Blake R. Kikafer, Zachary E. Klanderet, Allison Joy Knowles, Matthew L. Koenig, Sushma Miriam Columban, Jasmine A. Kraus, Devin Shea Kreklo, Cameron Rose Crittenbrink, Kobe M. 
Crittenbrink. Nianchen L. Kuth. Keenan Kwan. Nicholas Lagman. Caitlin N. Laird. Maxwell J. Lambert. Elizabeth May Lamberty. Ethan Christopher Lamp. Kyle A. Lang. David Lee Lake. Aubrey Leif Brinkman. Rachel M. Larson. Samuel Lee Lawfer. Nicholas Lawver. Danielle Elizabeth Lawrence. Noah C. Lawrence. Gabriella A. Laws. Giannis A. Lawson. Joseph P. Leahy. Tyler Jackson Lee. Mallory J. Leonard. Ashley Renee Libby. Trajan T. Linier. Keith Christopher Logan. Rogelio Angel Lopez. Zoe Lopez. Dominic Franklin Love. Chance Allen Loveland. Trinity Rose Lovings. Megan T. Mace. Aaron Todd Madden. Isaiah Keon Mahone. Cole Justice Martyr. Zachary H. Martin. Caleb Mastromonaco. Tyler R. Matthews. Kaylee C. Matris. Jared Matley. Addison P. Mauk. Marley April May. Shane May. Andrew Christopher Maines. Aaliyah Lee Mayorga. Kaylee Renee McCartney. Jonathan A. McClung. Kristen Wells McDermott. Emily M. McDowell. Isaiah J. McGraw. Joseph Edward McIntosh. Richard A. McManus, Jr. Isabel N. McNeil. Dylan James McNeil. Heidi Nicole McPherson. Jack W. Melling. Avery J. Melvin. Malia Louise Mentel. Logan Daniel Mercier. Jayla Rianne Russell Meyer. Kaylee Milkey. Austin M. Miller. Kristen M. Miller. 
Edward J. Mincy. Alexis Khalil Miranda. Camry Nicole Miranda. Rocio D.C. Molina Dominguez. Tiana Marie Monson. Ethan A. Morgan. Haley K. Mosley. Elijah John Moss. Kylie R. Muller. Kimberly Rose Mulvaney. Alia Christy Silva Munoz. Rihanna Lee Munoz. Ryan James Murray. Trinity Sindel Murray. Braden Myers. Margaret Mary Neighbor. Edward Navarrete. Chelsea M. Nderu. Kieran John Nebel. Emma Jo Neeson. Zach Neeson. Emily Evelyn Nelson. Claire M. Nozzle. Sarah Catherine O'Malley. Dylan Matthew Obenchain. Eden Olson. Noah Thomas Olson. Mia Haley Orduna. Mason M. Orth. Christopher H. Osborne. Braden Anthony Pays. Marina Noel Papineau. Riley Grace Perrick. Kyle Patton. Ella K. Pelletier. Alex Macario Perez. Juliana J. Perry. Ronnie D. Perry. Lilith Claire Peterson. Lucas G. Peterson. Mackenzie Lee Peterson. Olivia L. Petrash. Zoe I. Petrash. Adriana Marie Pickenpaw. Hadley Grace Please. Sherry Nicole Ann Poling. Braden Pogue. Nicholas Alexander Pollitt. Carson James Poole. Rachel Ann Popkin. Hannah Grace Privetera. Theodore R. Peich. Brandon G. Rail. Sean A. Rains. Lane C. Rainforth. Emma Marie Grace Ralston. Angelise Ramirez. Julian Anthony Ramirez. Thomas Rapayic. Keliana Elise Shade Ray. 
Mackenzie E. Reagan, Josephine Reed, Henrik Torben Reim, Sarah L. Remmers, Cameron Rain Rennert, Jackson L. Reynolds, Calvin T. Rizach, Emily M. Richards, Jaden Richard Rewalt, Brendan T. Roberts, Tyler J. Robinson, Amber Danae Rodriguez, Catherine Ann Rail, Campbell Rogers, Dallas W. Rogers, Brianon A. Roldan, Gracie Rollins, Samuel Joseph Romshek. Jordan Taylor Rose. Zoe Marie Rose. Anna Bliss Ruff. Madison Brianna Rushing. Jocelyn Maria Sangergio. Sarah Taylor Salisbury. Alexander J. Sharp. Brandon N. Scheiding. Cade Shent. Jacob Thomas Schneider. Skyler Lee Schrader. Ashley Dawn Shute. Daniel Luke Schumacher. Benjamin Philip Schultz. Luke M. Schweiss. Alexandria Lee Schwertfeger. Matthew Eric Schwacko. Alicia Marie Severson. Kira Marie Schaefer, Nathan J. Shelbourne, Jenna E. Schumacher, Lucas Sivernson, Matthew J. Sivernson, Nicholas A. Seach. Laney Rose Siefkin. Sakia N. Simmons. Stone Sindelar. Flor De Maria Smith Skleener. Kyle Thomas Soam. Sierra N. Somer. Eric Spencer, Rachel M. Spinks, Hannah M. Stack, Derek Anthony Starkweather, Christian Arthur Steenbach, Joshua Steenhook. Jameson C. Stevens, Joseph M. Stevens, Case Ann Stevens, Dylan Lee Stock, Emma Catherine Stock, Owen Thomas Stock.
Riley Ann Stock, Rebecca Lee Strohmeyer, Saviana Rayella Stewart, Blake J. Sudbeck, Maggie Christine Sewer, Luke Andrew Wayne Sumter, Madeline Swanson, William H. Swanson, Jameson Michaela Swantek, Michael Matthew Schwartfeger. Kayla Sweeney, Dylan Michael Serene, Chelsea Amber Sislow, Austin Taylor, Stephen Anthony Taylor, Aaron Mackenzie Teske. Joseph Theobald, Tyler A. Theobald, Hayden Alexander Tomeyer, Hunter Austin Thompson, Marina N. Thornhill, William A. Frapp. Colby Dean Thurman, Brandon L. Tiedemann, Abigail R. Toynton, Annie Michelle Tolman, Christopher Lawrence Joseph Yui, Hunter L. Utz. Dayton Joy Valinch, Garrett Drake Vaught, Jax D. Visti, Jacqueline Olivia Vogt, Tin Truong Vu, Hailani Wade. Addison M. Wagner, Amy Marie Wagner, Nicholas R. Wagner, Antonio R. Walker, Dalton Kalen Collier Walker, Bodie Ryan Waller. Guy Corbin Wallingford, Jack D. Warner, Alexandra M. Watson, Paul R. Watson, Brindley Alexis Weaver, Bronson Weeks. Madison M. Weichel, Hannah L. Westerdale, Aaron Stewart Wetzler, Tyler D. White, Kelsey Laura Wickwire, Shaley Elizabeth Caroline Weiss. Josephine Joy Willard, Victoria Ellen Williams, Victoria Ellen Williams, Abigail E. Williamson, Brian M. Wilson, Trennan R. Wilson. Hannah Elise Wood, Kinley W. Wright, 
Michael Wright. Austin Douglas Yates. Ashley Faith Yelovich. Isabel Yunji Yi. James Robert Young. Trevor Ethan Zendejas. Sydney Marie Zeke. Good afternoon, Titans. Today will be a memory that will stay with you for the remainder of your life. Graduation is a rite of passage that separates your childhood from your adult life. This school district has provided you with a quality education, one that will serve you well in your lifetime. I'm confident that you'll have the skills necessary for success. After all, you are a Titan. Today is an extra special day for me. Not only am I the board president, but I'm a father. My oldest daughter, Emily, will be part of the graduating class, and I know many of you crossing this virtual stage today, and I am so very proud of all of you. But I wanna leave you with a parting thought. Take this moment, your moment, and cherish it. We as parents in the community recognize that so many of the iconic events you would experience as a senior have now passed. Prom, one more track meet, one last baseball game, the last walk down the hall, or a simple goodbye to someone who made your time special at Papillion La Vista South High School. Make no mistake about it, this is still your time, so make it your own. I am reminded of a powerful passage by Ernest Hemingway that I would like to share, and I quote, today is only one day in all the days that will ever be, but what will happen in all the other days that ever come can depend on what you do today. It's been that way all this year, it's been that way so many times, end quote. As this comes to pass, be purposeful as you move forward in life and discover your future. Now, before I have you do your last official task as a Titan graduate, I want you to know that there were many individuals that recognize your potential and support you in your future endeavors. Here are greetings from just a few. Hey Titans, class of 2020. Merle Dandridge here. Papillion 1993 grad. I just wanted to send you my congratulations and my wishes for every success moving forward. I know you may not be walking across a physical stage right now, but the stage of this world has never been more ripe for you to make a change. So go out there, be grateful for everything that you have learned, expect failure, ex and expect it to teach you and grow you and make you stronger. Go be great, y'all. You got this. Hey, what's up? It's Lennon Parham. I play Kay Bowman on ABC's Bless This Mess, which is set in Nebraska. And although I don't live in Nebraska, I have come to love the state of Nebraska as I um, sort of explore a character who is from Nebraska. Um, I'm from a small town and Bucksnort is obviously a small town, and what do we do uh, in small towns? But we come together to help each other. And so I am here to say congratulations, uh, Papillion La Vista High School and Papillion La Vista South, which I would argue is maybe the best high school name I've ever heard. Um, <clears throat> anyway, congratulations. I know this isn't totally insane time, but it doesn't take away from everything that you've accomplished and will, and I can't wait to see what comes out of your lives, okay? Congratulations! Congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Rose Summers, your first ever Miss Nebraska to win Miss USA and Papillion La Vista South grad of 2013. That feels like yesterday and like an eternity ago all at the same time. And guess what? You are stepping into your future. I'm here to congratulate you. All of your hard work has paid off. Whether you can't wait for what's next or you're really sad to be saying goodbye to what has been, just look forward to all that you have to become because this is just the beginning. Congratulations. Hey Titans, Luke Sellers here, class of 2015. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. I just have a few words for the class of 2020. Nobody envisioned schools and sports being canceled, especially just the overall effect this virus has had on us. 
I think it's a good moment for us to grow as individuals and understand how we react when adversity strikes. Adversity is going to strike us throughout our whole lives, and how we respond to that makes us who we are. you got to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. With that, you're going to fail, but it's also going to open up more doors and more opportunities and just uh, learn from your mistakes. And with that, I just want to say congratulations on being a Papio South grad. You guys should be proud of that, and good luck on your future endeavors. Well, hi, I want to extend a special greeting and congratulations to those of you who are monarchs and titans. Uh, quite an accomplishment to graduate. I know these are strange times, and I'm going to pontificate, which is what old people normally do, and give you just a little bit of advice. And this is really copying a, a friend of mine, a guy named Warren Buffett. And Warren said this in advice to young people. He said, invest in yourself and uh, make yourself as valuable as you can. And so the best way to do that is to make sure that you get all the education you can, maybe a community college or maybe a four-year college. But what everybody needs in this society is a marketable skill, something that you can do, which most other people can't do. Maybe an electrician, it may be a nurse's aide, maybe an accountant, maybe a doctor, who knows. But uh, whatever you seem to feel is your talent, your special gift, make sure you maximize that. And I want to make sure that that all of you live successful lives. You've passed a, a pretty good initial hurdle here. Everybody at least needs a, a high school diploma, minimal. But then go beyond that if you can. So congratulations to all of you. It's been great to have a chance to say just a couple of words. And uh, so this is Tom Osborne. I've got the stadium behind me. And uh, just want to let you know we're proud of your accomplishments. Graduates, please stand. This is your last official test. On behalf of the Board of Education for Papillion La Vista Community Schools, I'd like to be the first to congratulate the official graduates of the class of 2020. Graduates, please move your tassels to the left. You're now officially alumni of Papillion La Vista South High School. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.